This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Debug the program. This program is supposed to read the values in the temperatures file into the daily temps array, but it has an error. Oh no! Find and fix the error in the program. All right, so let's first hit run. That's a great way to find errors. Oop, and here we go. So the compiler here, the console is trying to inform us where that error might be. Notice it says temperatures Java. That means, hey, hey, look in jo temperatures.java. 30 should be the line number 30 is where it is seeing there. Now, students, I want you to keep this in mind, though. Just because this says 30 does not mean that is where the error is occurring. So it is really, really possible. Some of the times it will be the exact line. But for example, say if, I don't know, data was assigned the wrong value, it might not notice that till this line, right? And so it errors on this line, but I might have assigned data the wrong value way up here or something. So it doesn't always know the line where there's an, uh, where the error originated, but it does tell you the line where the error was seen, where it actually broke something. And those aren't necessarily the same. All right, look for bugs. So let's see, data Data is a string, interesting. And uh, <laughs> so what we're gonna wanna do then is figure out a way to make this actually represent a double. And to do that, I'm gonna go to handy dandy documentation. I know I need this to be a double, it's coming in as a string. We could also look at different ways to read in data, but I believe what they're getting at is for me to look at double. So Java double. And again, this is the double class. Let's see what we have access to. So return double value of the object double, no. Return a new double initialize ooh by a string. So that's what we're gonna wanna use. We have a string right now and we need it to be a double. Well, this returns a double from a string. So I'm gonna go ahead, what's the name of my class here? The class's name is double. So I'm gonna do a parse double, double, and let's give this a shot. Cool, and that's looking good. Of course, there's a billion different ways we could have done this. We could have avoided the generation of this variable whatsoever or assigned it its own. I like it this way, but regardless, ta-da, onward.